What's up everyone? It is your boy Josh Robinson here with some brand new content here on Josh Robinson Double Zero on YouTube. I promise since the end of my podcasting days that there's some new stuff coming to this channel exclusively to YouTube and here we are. You see in the title of this video, it's the first of hopefully many different gaming videos, whether it's wrestling or non-wrestling related. We're starting things with wrestling of course because that's how we do it around here. But you see in the title, Without any further ado, let's get into five reasons why I love SmackDown vs. Raw. Reason number one, the ease of gameplay. Yes, I know a big problem with today's games is that some people feel like you can't just pick up a control and play these games with your friends or whatever it may be. You have to really study on how to play the game and I really agree with that to a certain degree because I know when I play the new 2K games, it's the only reason that I feel like I have any kind of, uh, I just am and any kind of good at it is because I've been playing them every year. I, I play these games endlessly, so I feel like the reason that I know the controls and that other people like me know the controls is because we have to study these games and we constantly have to learn how to play these games. With something like SmackDown vs. Raw and previous entries in the series, there was something about just picking up a control and being like, you can kind of figure this game out. Apart from the, you know, obvious controls, you can kind of, you can kind of get a feel pretty easily of how to play these games. It's one of the best things about older wrestling games is that pick up and play kind of mentality and deal that you have with these games. Not only that with ease of gameplay, I feel like it's the perfect combination between arcade and simulation. It is a endless, endless, endless quest for whether it was THQ and now 2K to kind of find that balance between really fun and arcade gameplay and then really fun simulation gameplay. There really is no in-between. You either do one or the other and they've tried to do in-betweens and it just, it doesn't seem to work. I feel like this though is the kind of, if you're going to have that in-between, is that perfect balance of like, yes, it is cool and arcade you can kind of do kind of ridiculous things, but also you can try and replicate what you see on WWE television. I think that's the best thing about the ease of gameplay of these of these older games and specifically with this SmackDown vs. Raw. As you can see, it, it's just it just flows so much nicely more nicely than than the than the current alliterations of these games. And it, it is what it, it is just a really fun game to play. It is reason what number one why I love SmackDown vs. Raw. Reason number two the season mode. I miss story Gameplay modes in wrestling games, season modes, especially with SmackDown vs. Raw, was just so ridiculous and so fun, and like it was long enough, and it was just the perfect, just, I loved it so much, especially with SmackDown vs. Raw. It had the voiceovers for the first time in the series history, um, of course not the person that you actually picked but everyone else, they had storylines and actually had voiceovers as opposed to just text-based stuff that you've seen in Here Comes the Pain and Shut Your Mouth and, and other stuff like that. The season mode in it, again, so ridiculous, but so fun and just the perfect length, everything about it. I just loved the season modes in these games. I feel like a, a big problem now is that we get this kind of, you know, like this recreation mode in Showcase with, with recreating great moments. And while I do like that stuff, it is just very much so stop, do this objective, go, wrestle bit, cutscene, and then you kind of just move on. There's no real, like, reward to it all in, in terms of the overall scheme of things. Um, I feel like with season modes, especially with this one, is that you're actually on a quest and on a journey with these season modes to go through a calendar year in WWE and actually make a difference in, in, in your experience in playing this. There's cutscenes, there is stories to follow, there's fun matches, and it doesn't really necessarily live or die by you winning or losing or completing certain objectives. You can just kind of go with how you go. I miss season mode so much. There were some wacky storylines in this one. You could kind of hire managers, you could buy and unlock different things like legends and arenas and everything else in between. It was just a lot of fun and, and pretty easy in the scheme of things. Not easy to the point where it's boring, just easy to the point where it's like fun. I think that's a big problem missing from when you look at all these old wrestling games is fun. Fun is missing. That is reason number two why I love SmackDown vs. Raw. Reason number three. This one is very easy to explain. 
the soundtrack. Oh my god. I love the soundtrack of these this game in particular. From everything from Breaking Benjamin to Power Man 500 to Zebrahead, everything about this soundtrack was just so good. I know there is a lot of nostalgia with these songs, but it's just so good. Also, in the game, you get to listen to them with little lines of commentary slapped in there as well, and it doesn't seem all weird and wacky. It's just perfect, and it's just pure, just greatness, and it's not going to take very long to explain this, but I just love the soundtrack. I'm sure that'll be the number one thing that everybody puts in the comments of this video, and freely, go do it. The soundtrack of this game is so good. That is reason number three why I love SmackDown vs. Raw. Reason number four, the customization. Do you remember in wrestling games when it was actually fun to make custom things like superstars and entrances and movesets without it being a hassle? Because I do. SmackDown vs. Raw provided that. I used to love making custom characters. It is not something I do in games anymore because I feel like it's such a hassle to go through everything and it's, it's so, it's almost over detailed now to the point where it's not fun to even creatively think about these characters, I feel like, or just different things, I should say, within customization. I absolutely love the customization in this game. It's not it's not too basic where it's boring, and it's not too overcomplicated where it's just too hard for me to think about. I like just getting in there and being able to create something other 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 utterly ridiculous got there in the end. Or something just completely just very much like what you see on WWE television. I just feel like it's fun, and I just feel like it's something that's missing from the series. This one in particular had just great customization stuff where even I just play was playing this game today, just kind of stuffing around on it, and I was able to just go in there and create someone within 10 minutes, and it was like, okay, this is fun, and then creating their movesets, creating their entrance, and just kind of going through different stuff. It was a big upgrade from the creation stuff in Here Comes the Pain, and it was definitely on the way with future titles in the series. I love customization. I love this game for it. It's just a lot of fun. That is reason number four why I love SmackDown vs. Raw. And finally, reason number five why I love SmackDown vs. Raw is it's very aesthetically pleasing. Now, let's just take a step back here. I understand it's 2004 when this game, ga this game came out, so I understand it doesn't look like graphically the best anything we've ever seen. Obviously not, but at the time it looked good. And not only that, the menus, the, the the text and stuff that I love on these on these this game in particular is just so good. The loading screens, everything about this game is just very aesthetically nice. I like the way it looks, I like the way the crowd reacts and stuff. I understand it's a little ridiculous, but again, at the time, it was a, it was a big step up from here comes the pain graphically. I just remember here Comes the Pain is so noted of being one of the best wrestling games ever, and then this was kind of the, the sequel to that, was the follow-up to that. It's hard to follow something that great, but graphically, it was a big improvement, and even the way the camera angles and stuff work, everything about this game just flowed so nicely when it comes to looking good for the eyes, you know? It does look good. The, the All the models look really good in this game. Again, menus and everything like that. You could pick SmackDown versus Raw. It had everything about it that was just cool to look at. And also something I know WWE doesn't do on television anymore, but animated matchup screens. I miss them so much. This game had them. It was everything about them. I was like, yes. And all other games did as well. But we're talking about SmackDown versus Raw today. But I just love it. It's so aesthetically nice that the menus are so easy and, and kind of just steamline through and you can just kind of like, everything's in its place. It's very easy to find. There's no confusion. It just looks really nice. That is reason, well the final reason, why I love SmackDown vs. Raw. And there we have it, five reasons why I love SmackDown vs. Raw. I'm going to be doing a bunch of these videos on both wrestling and non-wrestling games. Of course, there will be a semi-focus on professional wrestling as there is with everything with me. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't to the channel. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, JoshRobinson00. Find me on Instagram, Facebook. All my links are in the description below. I know this is something new. This is something different. I did promise everybody that has watched my videos or listened to my content before that something different was coming since ending podcasting and here we are. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. You can make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash joshrobinson00. I go live four or five times a week. I just post a different schedule all the time, doing all different kinds of games, not just wrestling. If you're not a wrestling fan, I do do other stuff as well. Um, but... 
I want to thank you again for watching this video. It's something, it's something different, and I've got a lot more different content coming exclusively here to YouTube. So again, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to that channel. Click that subscribe button because it does make me a little bit more determined to make different kinds of videos for you. And if you want to see something in particular, or there's a game you want me to talk about in particular, leave a comment below. I will look at it, I will go through it and be like, I'll talk about that game. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe. Like I said before, I'm just kind of going over the basics at this stage here on YouTube. Um, if you want to come and hang out with me at any time or come and chat with me, the best place to do that is on Twitter. I am very active on Twitter. Um, and again, all my links are in the description below. I hope you have a lovely rest of your evening or morning or day, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh,